In the next two weeks, we're going to bring in legislation, we're going to propose legislation that would, if it were passed, give municipalities the tools that they need to get tough on the drivers who speed in those areas, in school zones and in community safety zones. First is automated speed enforcement that municipalities could introduce in school and community safety zones. So what we're talking about is a speed activated camera to take pictures of the license plates of unsafe drivers who are speeding recklessly through neighborhoods where our children are playing. There's been a growing support for this technology on high-risk streets because we know that it works. So if someone's speeding and there's a camera that takes a picture of their license plate and can record that they are speeding and then a ticket can be sent to that person, what we know is that that behavior starts to change because people don't want to get those tickets and they know that 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 camera will catch them uh, speeding. The revenue collected from the <coughs> radar, has there been a plan yet? That'll stay with the municipalities. It's, it, it's, it's revenue that, uh, that will stay with the municipalities. But I think, you know, this is where, this is where the photo radar debate went many, many years ago. And I just want to be crystal clear that we are doing this, A, because we know it will make it's safer for kids, that kids will be safer because of these decisions, and B, because the municipalities have asked us to work with them and to put in place the framework so that they can uh, make these changes. And that's what, that's what these announcements are about.